Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for March. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for the month of March. We um, are recording this in February, so I urge you to watch this in March. This is kind of like a preview, you know. It may be happening now, but it's really for the month of March, so watch it then. I am booking out till March 22nd at this point. So if you'd like a reading and you want to get on the schedule, feel free to send me an email. Um, this is for the month ahead. What do we got for Aquarius? We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. And we're going to use that deck right there. If either of these come out reversed, these are overall energies. No, 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 no. Reversals, yes, but not in these two decks. What do we got for Aquarius? I don't want to go in. Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune change, of course. Destined change, of course. One chapter of your life is ending. You're, you're closing something off. This is this is a completion. It's a big one. It's it's bringing you something better. I mean, when when this wheel spins, it's spinning to bring you something better. Okay. So something is going to bring come in that is going to bring you something or bring you to a place that is better than where you've been, you know? I think that you guys are definitely going through some sort of, of change, right? I mean, that's what that is. The wheel is spinning. It's a change, destined change. Something good is coming. Whatever it is, something good is coming. What else do we have? Oh, here we go. Angel of Balance. So, it, whatever is happening, you know, it's funny. I was going to say this is Angel Protection. I was going to say it with this card. Angel Protection because... I don't know why I was going to say that. I just felt like it was. I feel like this is some sort of protection. Something is happening. And then we get this angel of balance. And I saw the wings. And that's when I thought protection again. And I figured I would just go ahead and say it. So some some sort of protection. It's like this change is needed. Because you like it's like you need to protect yourself. I don't know where that's coming from. But um, whatever is happening it's like this change is happening because it's time for you to bring balance back in your life it's like they want you to be at ease they want you to be in harmony they want you to be at peace they want you to be comfortable you know and I think you're you may be in a situation that is uncomfortable you know that is out of balance and you need to take that step because the wheel of fortune is a card of free will and destiny so you guys have to take a step to change your destiny even though you know this is destined this change is destined I think that you are being guided to make some sort of change to take some sort of step to bring balance back to your life whatever that is hmm. now that wheel of fortune is a lucky break so something is happening to change your luck you know to change your life really I mean, to bring you something better. I know that I'm repeating myself, but whatever. Somebody hasn't been listening. They haven't been listening to their intuition. They haven't been um, willing to follow through with what they are being guided to do. It's like you're being told. It's like... And I, I don't know where I, these angels are coming from, but I keep on feeling like there's angels around you. I don't know. And, and it's like they're telling you. They're telling you something, and you're not listening. You're not listening. You're not listening. And I don't, I don't know why. I don't know why you're not listening. Um, you're keeping it to yourself. I think that you're hearing these messages. Yes, I do. I think that you're getting the messages. I think that you, they are being downloaded to you, but you're just not listening, and I'm not sure why. You may, you may feel like um, uh, 
I don't know, you just want to keep it to yourself for some reason. The Five of Cups, it's like you guys are, are focusing on something that is hurting you. You are. You're focusing on something that is hurting you when you have another opportunity. And it's like you can't, you can't see that. Look at how bright that other opportunity is. The situation that you are holding on to is emptiness. It's lost. It's there's nothing there. But here, if you if you could just see that in another direction, there's something better, you know. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why you guys aren't following through. It's like you're going through some sort of repression, and these angels are around and they're nudging you and they're saying it's time for this change. Just do it. Just do it, and you gotta find the strength to do it. You gotta find the strength to get unstuck. You know, to stop stay sacrificing yourself for a situation that is not helping you. You know, I think that you guys are sacrificing yourself needlessly. And it's time to stand up for yourself. It's time to break free. Whatever that is. Ooh. You do need to stand up for yourself. You need to take your power back. You need to be strong. You need to make a firm decision. You need to stand your ground. You need to protect yourself. You do, and it's fine that it's funny that I said protection. I really feel this is about protecting yourself. I don't know where that's coming from. You know, you got to protect yourself from people in situations that don't bring balance, that don't bring peace, that don't bring harmony to your life. You got to stand up for yourself. You could be dealing with somebody that has hidden agendas. It could be a Pisces. I mean, we have Pisces here twice. So, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who has hidden agendas. They're not in it. I mean, where's the love as of yet? I don't see it. Mm. You know, eight of pentacles reversed. <laughs> this person, whoever you're dealing with, isn't putting in a lot of effort. They're, they don't, they, maybe they don't have any money or they don't, ha they can't take care of themselves and they want you to take care of them. I don't know what this is. This is a, a I think that you're dealing with a person that could be using you. I, mean, I don't know where this is coming from. Yeah, this is the death of an idea, letting something go. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to stand your ground. You absolutely need to stand up for yourself. You need to protect yourself. This reading is about protect yourself. Protect yourself. <laughs> you may be refusing to see what you're hearing, may or to believe what you're hearing. I think that you're you're being told that you're dealing with somebody that has hidden agendas, but you're not listening for some reason. I don't know. Oh my God, you're dealing with somebody who is not a nice person at all. They don't, they don't, they don't care. It's like there's no feelings involved here. I gotta just get the rest. There is no feelings involved here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, whoever you're dealing with, I think it's a Pisces. I do. I think it's a Pisces or could be another air sign, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Um, whoever this person is that you are dealing with. I think you you you're thinking about walking away from this situation because you probably feel like there's not a lot of love here. This person probably has come off as, you know, a warrior. They have come off as very strong and determined, but they definitely have some secrets whoever this person is, and I think that you know it. I think that these angels are trying to protect you and they're telling you that something isn't right. Something isn't right and you're hearing it, but you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it for some reason. And I don't know why. Maybe you got something to prove. Maybe maybe there's there's something that needs to be proved here. You may, maybe there's some embarrassment for uh involving yourself with this person, whoever this person is. Um I feel like you're thinking about walking away right now and that you kind of feel like there's no love here because whoever this person is that you're dealing with there is no love here. It's not compatible. It's based, I think it's based on 
money, security of some so some sort. I feel like this person is doesn't have good intentions. It's like they're trying to steal from you. I don't know what that means or who that is for. Yeah, they're insecure. They're insecure. And I feel like, you know, it's the blind leading the blind here. It's like they're trying to lead you. You know, they think that they know everything and they don't know everything. And they're going to lead you down a path that you really don't want to go down. I mean, that's what I think this is. Whoever you're dealing with is insecure. Um... It's like they're a beggar. They're a beggar. They're looking for a handout. Let's see their hand. They're looking for a handout. I really feel like somebody is using you. Is this about love? Is this about love? Is there any love here from this person? You know, there's a, there's a, there's a feeling of emptiness. There's a feeling of, of loss. There's a feeling of, there's no victory in success here. I think there's something that needs to end and for some reason you guys aren't doing it. It's time. It's time. It's time for this change. It's time for you to get what you deserve. It's it's time for you to head to a better place. But the only way you're going to head to a better place is for you to take that step. I feel like you're dealing with a somebody that is holding you back from success. This person is holding you back from success, whoever this person is. It's not compatible. It's not love. It's not love. But what's going on here? Look at the look on this person's face. I feel like you're dealing with somebody who has no follow through. This person doesn't even know what they're doing. Very immature. They probably present themselves with something big, right? They present themselves. Look at how big that pentacle is, but look at the look on his face, okay? Or her face, whoever it is. Whoever you're dealing with pro projects themselves as, you know, knowing what they're doing and having it all. And I got such so much to offer you, and they don't have, they don't have any experience. They're just full of shit. So, yeah, somebody is lying. I know that's the case. You're dealing with somebody who is deceitful, somebody that doesn't tell the truth. There's dishonesty here. And it's like they're, you need to take your power back. You need, they're trying to steal your power. They are. They may be trying to steal your money. You know, you're, you, you are... being faced with an opportunity to go down a new path, but I can see that you're very indecisive about it. I think right now you're probably safe where you're at. You're in the safe zone. You know, it's safe here, but you know that it's not right. You're not comfortable, and you know that something is up because your intuition is telling you something is up. I think you've caught wind of it. I think that uh, you do. You are worried about who, whoever you're dealing with. I think that you do know, even though you don't want to know. Um, I think that you're very indecisive as to whether you should stay here or not. And I, that's where we're at. It's like, I can't make this decision, and I don't know why you can't make this decision. I think you're dealing with somebody who has a victim mentality and they got their hand out and you know it's time to go down that new path but you're afraid you're afraid to step over that finish line you're afraid to end this because maybe it's comfortable but it's time it's time you may be in a comfortable situation but it's not comfortable you know what I mean you know it's not right whatever it is what is this I think that you're being taken advantage of by somebody. You are. And you're afraid to take a risk. You need to you need to have faith. You need to replace that fear with faith and take a risk. You are being taken advantage of by another person. There's still no love in these cards. How many cards have we laid out? Does this person love Aquarius? Does this person love Aquarius? It's all about the money, honey. It's all about the money. It's about the stability. 
It's about what they can put in their bank account. It's a what what they can get out of you financially. That's what this is. Any more? Is there love here for Aquarius? Oh, God. You're dealing with an immature individual who probably is so immature that they don't even know how to love. They probably don't. You know, there's no love here in this card. There isn't. I mean, you're dealing with somebody who can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. <laughs> Big talker. You gotta set some boundaries with this person. Still, is there any love? Nope. This isn't about love, it's about money. Somebody wants you to take care of them. Somebody wants your stability. They want you to take care of them. That's what this is. This is this this guy is the person that this is the father, this is the husband, this is the money maker, okay? Somebody sees you as their bank. You know, you're their money. That's the way I see it. That's what I see this as. I feel like you are dealing with somebody that is only focused on the money that you can offer them. I'm sorry. That's what I feel like this is. There's still no love in these cards. And there's no and I think the thing is I think that you guys know this. But it's stable as well. It's stable for you. Maybe they provide a roof. So they got you wrapped. They got you wrapped right around you, their finger because they provide the roof. You know, so you you need to find your ability to break free. Stop sacrificing yourself. Stop sacrificing yourself. Take back your power. You take charge. Um, there's some love. This is a new start in love. But it's not with the person you're dealing with. The Knight of Cups reverse. You're dealing with somebody who's so full of shit and you have somebody else. You do. With the Five of Cups, you got somebody else. You are focused on somebody who has nothing real to offer you. A faker. A faker. I think this faker is probably a Pisces. Could be another Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. And I think that you have somebody else, which could be an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, that could take care of you where you're not doing all the work. I really feel like you are dealing with an absolute player here and you have somebody else that could lead to stability if you could just see it. If you could just see it. You know, I think that you're dealing with somebody who is absolutely using you for your stability and you've got somebody else that is better suited for you, that will love you, that is more uh, emotionally connected to you, um, but you're not focused on them. You can't see them. You can't see that there's a bright future behind you or in another direction because you're focused on this joker, whoever this joker is. Um, you are. It's like you're focused on a joker. And, and this person is dishonest. They're just after your moolah. They're after your stability. They're not after love. And you got somebody else. But this is like an eclipse, right? You've got you to remove the joker so that you can unite with this better opportunity. You know, it's a checker flag. you got to step over that, that, that finish line. You do. So I think there's a chapter in your life that needs to come to a close. Or there's a situation or there's a relationship that perhaps you're still in that needs to end. And I think that you have a better one waiting for you, but you're not seeing it. Because you need to drop the one that that doesn't serve you, that's holding you back. You know, I really feel like you are holding on to somebody that, or a situation, you're holding on to something that is overwhelming you. It's, it's bringing you down. It's weighing you down. It's holding you back from success. It is. There's no victory in success with whoever this person is. And I think there's embarrassment because of it. I think that you have been taken advantage of. You have been duped. And I think that you know it, but you don't want to believe it because it's embarrassing. It is. We all go through it. We've all been embarrassed by our mistakes. Every single person has. But I think that you have a new opportunity for love here, but it's not where you're at. You know, I really feel like you have a new opportunity. Something needs to be eclipsed out, okay? It does. That's what needs to happen. 
endings bring new beginnings. So I feel like once you, I mean, this is, anyway, could be new moon to full moon too. Could go either way. Anyway, endings bring new beginnings. You have somebody else. You do. You do. But right now, it's like you're dealing with somebody who, this is a faker. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be anybody, could be any sign, but this is somebody who doesn't have anything real to offer you, but they sure do pretend they do. They, they, they can come off like they do, but they're full of shit. So you have somebody else. You do have somebody else, but right now you're overwhelmed and you need to drop this player that you're playing with. That's my take on that one. I feel like you need to stand up for yourself. You need to protect yourself right now because this person is going to take as much as they can from you. You have somebody else that can take better care of you. I think it's an earth sign. But right now you're dealing with somebody who has no follow through. They, 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 they talk the talk, but they sure as hell cannot walk the walk. That's the way I see it. I mean, that's what I got. So I feel like you guys do have somebody else, but you may not want to believe it because who knows why. Um, but once you realize that... Whoever you're holding on to is never going to change. That's when you receive your lucky break. But you, you have to take that step. This is a card of free will and destiny. You have to take that step to get your reward. You know, to get what you deserve. To... So that they can bring you. And this is a completion. You have to complete a chapter first. You guys need to complete something first. And so I think that you guys are involved with somebody that it needs to end. And you're just holding on for, I don't even know, fear? What do we got? I think you got somebody new waiting for you. I do. I really do. You got somebody new waiting for you. Please, God, listen to this card. I'm begging you. You are dealing with somebody that is not a good person. And you're dealing with them right now. And my intuition is highly telling me that. You are dealing with a person in your life that does not have good intentions. Please wake up. Please open your eyes. And I am not dealing with any Aquariuses. None. I have no Aquariuses in my life. None. I can tell you right now, I feel this very strongly, that you need to protect yourself. You are dealing with somebody that is not a good person. You really are. They're after your money. They don't care who they hurt. They don't. They don't care who they hurt. They're not in it for love. And you deserve love. And you have somebody else if you could just turn around and see it. So Aquarius, that is what I have. I know this isn't the most happiest reading in the world. But whatever is happening, it's trying to bring you something better but you have to take that step the angels are with you right now i know they are i felt that from the very beginning listen and you stand up for yourself you protect yourself or this person's going to continue to take advantage of you as long as you let them good luck 